twinkle, twinkle, little spatula. I just got back from the grocery store, so I thought I would show you what I bought and how I plan to use these items. I heard back from a lot of you on my first grocery haul video that you really enjoyed it and you like to see um, what I end up doing with it. So I plan to do more of that. This is just one week's worth and then the Easter specials. So let's go through things kind of. I'm gonna to try to go faster than last time because my last video everybody told me was too long. Um, I bought celery because later this week we're gonna have um, tuna, what's it called? We call it tuna cold. I guess it's like a tuna pasta salad. Um, we're gonna have that on Friday, on Good Friday for our like meal. And this was, Zaina asked for cucumbers, so there it is. I got two different kinds of fruit this week. I got bananas and a cantaloupe because that was inexpensive. Um, Persephone already spied these and wants them immediately. So I told her to be good while I'm filming and then she can have these pickled beets. Those are her absolute favorite. I bought barbecue sauce, this one because it was on sale. I'm going to be making two homemade pizzas this week in the cast iron skillet and one of them is gonna be a barbecue chicken. So that's what that's for. More olives for snacking for the kids and Chad. They like to have those. And then I have all of these lemons. They were on a good deal, so two for 99 cents. And um, this week I'm gonna use that whole chicken that is still in my freezer. And I'm gonna make what we call Greek chicken and need two lemons for that. And then for our Easter um, dessert, for, uh, what's her name? Zania, my oldest, is going to be making us a lemon poppy seed pound cake. So I bought the poppy seeds as well. The broccoli is for snacking, and you'll see in another one of my videos how I'm gonna use that for the kids, as well as the ranch dressing is for the kids, and Chad likes to have that too on hand. This is one of Chad's um, favorite specials too. He likes to drink that. And these grape tomatoes were on sale this week, so I stocked up, I got three of those. And I think that'll just last me a week because I love them so much. They're $1.99, I think. So that's a like half off, super good price. And then the leaf lettuce, you will see in another video how I'm gonna use that uh, with some deli meat. And then with that meat in my freezer, I bought these two seasoning packets. One for the pork. I'm gonna make barbecue pulled pork. Probably not this week, maybe next week. And But this week I am gonna be making the pot roast with potatoes and carrots and the celery. And this Baja Blast was my husband's request. Uh, he tells me that it only is in the stores in the summer. And so he looks forward to that. He's a sugary drinks kind of guy. Those are like, what did he call them? Tasty drinks. He likes tasty drinks and that's all he ever asks for um, from the stores. And he tells me that's what keeps him happy. The Diet Coke in the back is for me. I get one of those maybe every couple of months. Um, as a special. Lucky Charms, Chad said to get those for the kids, so I did. Again, we ran out of bread twice in the last two weeks, so I stocked up. The 12 grain is my favorite, and then I got that cottage bread because it was on sale. The kids and Chad can have that. And then um, I plan on making homemade bread as well, um, so I only got one of those. And the mozzarella is for the pizza night. The provolone is to use in my uh, deli meats kind of special video that either will already have been posted by the time you see this or shortly thereafter. And then these are the things that I bought special for Easter. Um, sadly, I think we're just gonna have Easter just our little tiny family this year because everybody is living in fear of COVID-19 and um, Everybody says we need to stay home with those that are around us. So I guess that's what we're doing. I plan to make them a Greek feast as I have been for the last few years. Um, Chad does like to help me in the kitchen on Easter. He thinks this meal is pretty much the cat's meow. And um, when I asked Zania what I should make, she's like, please, can we have lamb, please? So I did buy a leg of lamb and I bought the smallest one that they had at our local super one um so what is it just under six pounds so um 
that'll be delicious. These next three ingredients are to make tzatziki, and in addition to those three things, you need vinegar, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do a, a video of that if anybody's interested in how to make tzatziki. It's super easy. Um, and I didn't buy pita bread because they didn't have the kind I want, so um, I'll look, be on the lookout this week for the kind I want. And then these ingredients over here are to make spanikopita, and... Um, that feta I'm not actually going to use in the spanikopita. That feta I'm going to use for dinner tonight um, just to have at the house. Um, because although it's decent, it's not great. The great feta is at Costa's Euros here in town. So we'll make an extra special trip there. I know that they're open for curbside pickup. And I'll place an order for... I usually get like three or four pounds at a time. Um, so I'll probably have to call ahead to do that. And just actually tip... You can get your feta from your local, like, find who your local Greeks are and where they get their feta and get it there because it's significantly better and not even any more expensive than grocery store feta. So there's a little insider tip for you. But these are going to go in spanikopita for Easter dinner as well. And you need a few other ingredients. If you're at all interested in me making a video on how to make that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, not too many things. Because of that leg of lamb, my groceries were a bit more, you know. Like this very few amount of groceries was about $130. And without that leg of lamb, you know, it would have been under $100. So because I had all the meat in my freezer, um, got away pretty inexpensively for this week. So I do like that idea and hope to kind of keep that up because that does make things a bit easier. Persephone, what are you eating? Thanks. Do you like them? Sour. Tell me what they taste like. Sour. Sour? What do you like about them? Good. How many did you eat? Um, four. Four? Do you love them? Do you know how to say beets in beets. Greek? Beets. Batsaria. Batsaria. Good job, Hala. Can you look at us and smile? show you the recipe she's going to be working on although we're not going to film her making it um i will show you what it takes to make them and then the finished product she's going to be making us lemon bars we had everything in our pantry already the only special item that i needed to buy from the store were those two lemons and um i had to buy lemons anyways for another thing that i'm making this week so i just bought two extras so this meal ended up or this sweet, I should say, this treat, is only costing us 99 cents because we already had everything in our pantry. So, can't wait to try these. Yum! It got to be such a busy day today that I wasn't even here when Xenia was making these or finished them, and then she went to bed um, while I was putting the baby to sleep and I came downstairs and I was like, oh, that's right. Those lemon bars are done. So I came to check them out and I see she already grabbed a square. So I'm gonna dig into these and, um, but they look delicious. I'll let you know.